Hey, it's Neil. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using guides and grids in Google Slides. Uh, this is essentially the end product, and then I'm going to walk through how to make this from scratch. So if you've done any kind of layout design, whether that's for digital or print, you're probably used to using grids. So this is a 12 column grid, and it really helps lay out all of the content really nicely. So this is four columns, four columns, four columns. And these are all very basic, extremely basic layouts that you can make. Okay, even here you can see everything is snapping to the grid. So let's take a quick peek under the hood and then I'm going to show you how to make it. If I go to View Guides, Edit Guides, you'll see that there's nothing here. Okay, there's nothing here. What I have to do is go into View Theme Builder, which used to be called View Master. And uh, don't be fooled, because even if you look here, say View Guides, Edit Guides, there's still nothing here. And that's because I have one of these uh, sort of lower level slides selected. I have to select this very top level slide, then go to View Guides, Edit Guides. And that's where you'll see all of my vertical, which means column, guide values. Okay, I don't really use horizontal guides. Some people do. I'm not a huge fan, but this is where we're going to input all of our values. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go over to slides.new, make a fresh new deck, and I'm going to delete this. I don't want anything on it. Delete the themes. I don't want any of that. And I'm going to go to view theme builder just as we did before, and I'm going to get rid of all of these. So I only want one. Okay. And let's get rid of this too. So make sure I have the very first one selected, the top level, and go to view guides, show guides, and then view guides, edit guides. So by default, it comes with uh, center guidelines. I'm going to just delete those. And now I'm going to start building my 12 column grid. So I like a 12 column grid. Uh, most designers that I know and most designers that I work with use a 12 column grid. So you can do any number of columns. I've used eight columns before that works just fine. But uh, for this demo, we're going to use 12. So the next thing I'm going to do to uh, help me pick those grid values is go over to Figma. So I'm going to hit figma.new. So the reason I'm in Figma is because in order to build out this 12 column grid, if I come over to my uh, sort of final product one more time, what I need is coordinate values in inches. Okay. And that's really hard to do mentally. So I'm going to draft it out in Figma first and then bring those values over into slides. So a standard in Google Slides, that's 10 by 5.625 inches. I'm going to bump that up times 100, so 1,000, and just round it to 563. You could do 562.5. It doesn't really matter. OK, so this is now my, my canvas. This matches my deck exactly. So in Figma, it's really easy to just build out a grid. So I'm going to add a layout grid, switch that to columns, and I said I wanted to do 12. OK, so that's already a great start. Stretch is what I like. Uh, I like to have a 30 margin. You can change that. You can bump that up or bump that down, depending on how you want to build out your deck. So 30 in Figma, remember, we're, we're x100. So that's actually going to be 0.3 inches when I move over to slides. And a 20 pixel gutter, I already worked out these values and it works out very conveniently. So with a 20 pixel gutter, if I measure the column width here, I'm at exactly 60 pixels. So we're working with really nice and easy values here. So my gutter is 20, which is 0.2 in slides. My column width is 60 and my margin, which is going to go on the left and right is 30. So that makes the math very simple. So because we need to enter the guide coordinates, which is just going to be these lines and slides, I need the X position for each of these. So really my first guideline here is going to be the X position of this rectangle, which if I look up here is going to be 30 divided by 100 is 0.3. So in order to do that, I'm going to take this, oops, and kind of propagate this throughout the entire slide. Okay, so I have the values that I need in Figma. 
This one's intentional. It looks out of place, but remember, I just need that left line, the x value, and so I'm going to need 9.7 there. And so the next step is very tedious. You just have to port all of these x values into slides. So starting with x of 0.3, say add new guide, 0.3, and then change the color if you like. I usually choose something in like the bluish over here, but uh, let's just do that for every single, and that's 0.9. Okay, what I typically do just because this is so tedious is I button jam add new guide a bunch of times and I keep keep doing it and batch that process. Okay, so without even entering the values, you can see what it's doing here is, is starting to draw out my grid. And so if I come back to the final product over here, what I've done is I've inputted all of those correct values and now I see the margin, the column, the gutter, the column, the gutter, and this matches Figma exactly. So that's pretty much it, and now you're, you're free to use your 12 column grid in any way that you like. Uh, the simplest way is to create uh, you know, four column or six column text layouts. Um, I could do an entire other video on this, but one thing I will say about text layouts, I, I would say maybe the most important uh, tip there is when you draw a new text field, uh, let's just try to line that up and you'll see little red lines that are telling you that you're snapping to the grid. Okay, so I have a new text field here, and I'll just try to format that ever so slightly. Okay, so that looks fine, right? But you can see that it's not actually snapping to the grid, and that's because when you create a new text field in slides, it gives it a default padding of 0.1 inches on all sides. So I just jumped into Format Options here, and it's text fitting that you want to look for, and that's where you see padding 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So I'm going to go and change all of those to zero, and now you can see that I'm actually lining up with the with the grid exactly. Okay, so I think padding can be useful in Google Slides, but I don't like that it's the default, especially when you're working with grids. Like over here, for instance, uh, this is somewhere where I am using padding because in this case the gutter wasn't quite enough for these uh, for these text blocks. It looked a little too close to one another. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I jumped into all of them and gave it a right padding only of 0.1. You can see if I take that away, it's just looking a little too close to me. And so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever it is that you want, you can jump in and give that specific padding. Okay, so that's pretty much all.